Hello, people. I'm so excited to introduce Faye. Welcome, Faye. For... Hello. Hello. Hello, darling. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Entrance. Oh, <laughs> from what my garden. The, what is the space we're looking at? Well, it's, it's down in the bottom of my garden, and it's a lovely wooden um, studio that I've probably had for about... Oh, 10 years now, and I live in it. If I can, I'm virtually here all the time. So, yeah. Fabulous. Lovely. So fabulous. Uh, Thank you so much for attending, people, for showing up. We appreciate yeah. it. Um, we, I'm very excited to chat with my gorgeous, fabulous artist, Faye. Oh, okay. I'm jealous <laughs> of this, the hair, the glasses. <laughs> The hairband. We talked uh, about doing me doing a hairband. It doesn't. I don't know. Maybe when you come visit me someday, you can help. Um, yeah, maybe. yeah. <laughs> How long have I? That been would be hair? good. I'll... Okay, you style me. Um. Yeah, yeah. I could bring some extra extra ribbons for you and scarves and see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. Sounds great. Type in where you are, people. Faye, um, how long have I been your agent? Um, I think we signed in about March, April, May time. Okay. <laughs> and, and yeah, it's been a couple of months well, and I'm cool. getting used to um the luxury. <laughs> luxury, yeah. yes. Well, yeah. let me introduce her formally. Faye is an illustrator with over 20 years experience as a textile designer. She lives near Oxford, England, surrounded by the English countryside alongside the River Thames. I mean, does that sound so quintessentially British? <laughs> Faye is the only girl in a household of boys. Her two sons, oh, you're just all around boys. Her two sons are both yeah. away at university while Ewok and Yogi, her furry studio assistants, alternate between keeping mm. her company and interrupting her flow whenever they think it's time for a walk. How adorable. <laughs> Faye originally oh. trained in textile design at Central St. Martin's School of Art and Design in London and has experience as an in-house designer at Designers Guild, which is one of my most favorite design firms and mm -hmm. Diane Harrison design as well as living in the UK she spent several years in Seattle in the USA yeah I don't yeah. think I knew that that's uh, okay and Gaines wants you to adopt her by the way hello uh, they now works in a wooden fine. studio at the bottom of her garden as we see and when not designing enjoys finding inspiration roaming the surrounding fields and riverbank and losing track of time in her beautiful if very unruly garden well welcome mm. welcome welcome we're excited hello, we're hello to, everyone we're going to be <laughs> looking at her uh, a, a powerpoint of her gorgeous work i want to show you and i'm not saying this is a way to get representation but if the work is incredible it's a way to get re representation I, oh. i've showed it to some of you before this is what faye popped in the mail from to me uh, look at this with her art and a little personal note. Um, and she sent me two booklets, one of adult work and one of children that she just made. How did you make these? You talk while I show. How did you like? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I just chose my favorite pieces, the work that I really enjoyed doing. And um, I printed them out and I spent a long, long time cutting and pasting and working out how it how it would flow with your book. And I really enjoyed doing it. Um, and it, it took a lot of time, but I'm I'm glad it was worth it. Yeah. Gorgeous. And the thing is, you know, I mean, this let me explain how an agent looks at work, okay? You know, I know too, when I was an illustrator a million years ago, I would obsess over the 
order and flow of my portfolio and like, oh my God, you know, and you do want to start with something strong, but the reality is we flip through till we find something we're crazy about. So like, honestly, your first spread is um, a bunch of little silhouettes, but once you started giving me the big scenes um, and the big full pages, and I particularly like the black line. Your line is so great. You know, and that was early on, but it wasn't the first page. We go right to the pieces that we're crazy about. Um, and, and, and really, being an agent is sort of an, being an addict because what we do is we hunger for our next rush, our next, like, oh my God, oh my God, look at that building, oh my God, look at this, look at that. And then we look and we look and we go like, wow, oh my God, oh, she can draw people too? Oh my God, and oh, look, and, and she can do this and food and, you know, and our minds race, like we can license or, or get uh -huh. options for this and all that. Well, that's how it goes. Now, let me tell you something, and then her children's book work. This she did uh, in my Make Art That Sells .com course. That's how I discovered her. She was in my wow. courses for a while. And when I saw this, I'm like, not only can she draw people, but it's what I talked about. Are you all watching me on my Instagram live for make on the Make Art That Sells Instagram lives? I started a new series called um, True, True Confessions of an Art Agent. And one of the things I talked about is like curating, picking, like she didn't look at this, like this guy, it, there's so much specificity to that guy. It's not just some guy you know, and all the people here are very curated and thoughtful, their hair and their, and the way they look and, and, and the table and what's on it and the background scene. So, you know, I love that. I love that it it wasn't just like here's a table for a children's book of grandpa's library of things it had a real specificity look at these kids and the emotion and the freedom she draws in a really loose way why because she has a lot of experience drawing and you can't get loose on purpose like by trying you get loose by just drawing a ton am I right I've been talking the whole time. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about it. Oh, yes. Yeah. So um, I've got I've got one of those in the um, PowerPoint. But I was going to say, Lilla, yes. here I've got all of my stuff that I do just to come up with the one image of the you know, of the grandpa or I just, it, you know, I'm looking at this. As you're talking, it's like hundreds of tryouts and playing and mess and, you know, and then eventually you get to one and think, yeah, that's the one. I want that little guy. And then you can start kind of progressing it. But that's what you teach us. I'm in so glad you're showing that because, you know, I was thinking today of wanting to talk at some point, not today, but another day about like, eventually you get so good at your medium or your art that everything you do is good and it flows and you get to the enjoyment part and it's no longer like, iffy like you don't know if it's going to be a good piece or not and even when you're doing those sketches you know that you'll get to it like you will get to the great guy the and the great kid like you yeah you know, snow on some level or you wouldn't put up with the abuse that we all have to deal with as creative people <laughs> when we like our the stuff is just difficult we don't give up why didn't you give up when when you yeah. were starting out why did you keep going So I, I mean, I love it. It, I just wow. love drawing, and I love getting into a character and imagining that little world that they're in. Mm -hmm. And 
also I'd look at everybody else's work that was in the, the group oh. in the in the class mm -hmm. and I I can remember my husband saying to me when I'd get a bit down that my work wasn't up to the standard and he'd say that you know separate the standard from from the style and aim for the standard but do it in your way and so I just kept practicing and practicing at what what was me and trying to bring that out, but bring it to a better standard as I was doing it. So just kept going. Um, and yeah, one day, you know, I want to make the children's book and get it published. So got to keep going with it. It's the burning drive that keeps you motivated. Yeah. It's the love of making pictures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still, after all these years, I was messing around with watercolors this weekend. I was away in Western Massachusetts and I, you know, when I did watercolors as an illustrator back in the eighties and nineties, the reason why I stopped is watercolors stunk back then. They really weren't vivid <laughs> and now they're so really? vivid and rich. Yeah. They weren't that good. They wow. Were wow. I love watercolor. I love watercolor. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm having like a rebirth of them. Yeah. What watercolors do you uh. So I, I mean, I've got all my messy things. I normally work over there on that table mm -hmm. and it's normally covered in my paints and things. But I'll use, um, I use the schmink ones, oh. the ones in the little tin. Oh, that's so I use these. Huh. Okay. But my favourite are the ones that you get in the little tubes. Okay. And I'll just pop them. You know, I have them on a on a plate. That's what and I I'll just mix them. Yeah. I and use the plate. Yeah. And I just will but you know, add the water and mix them up. Or that these are probably more the gouache, which I, I enjoy yeah. using. But yeah. Yeah. And we say gouache over here. Gouache, oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think gouache makes more sense because it is sort of gooey and gooey and yeah gooey. yeah you can get it thick or thin can't you it's yeah <laughs> well I mean your your colors are so vivid and so rich and why don't you pop up your powerpoint let's do right it, unless there's something else you wanted to say no 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 I'll come I'm, I'm like, that I'm let me for the powerpoint so screen share mm -hmm. Okay. By the way, everybody, we're doing. Oh, do you want to? I know it's going to be small, but can you hold up what the giveaway is? We're doing a giveaway. Oh yeah, let me. Um. So I've got um two of my um printed illustrated tea towels. Mm -hmm. There's a honey bee one, and a pollinator one. Gorgeous. So they're going to be the, the prize. Yeah. So stay tuned <laughs> for the giveaway. Um, Marmac okay. asks, will they be able to do any um, demos? Well, she's only, the camera's just set up this way, not overhead. But that's a cool idea for another time, isn't it? To do a demo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm just going to move up, you know, up I there. To, I know I'm jiggling things around. Okay, so oh, so okay. Gorgeous. so gorgeous. Can you see it? Okay, is yes, it is can. it all working? Yes, oh, good, good. Right. So, so this is me in my little world that I live in. <laughs> um, yeah, you can see um, Ewok and Yogi are there at the bottom of my table, which is where they've been banned from for this soon I didn't want them in here <laughs> so I banned them but yeah I live in um along right by the river Thames so I'm always getting inspired along there mm -hmm. and um seeing the wildlife and yeah it's, it's a beautiful place to live mm -hmm. um but I I put this page in because I think it shows um a story 
Um, and I love I love illustrating children's stories, but I also really enjoy doing a more adult where you've you've got a lot of interest on one page. So yeah, I love I love that you have you know the big image of yourself in your in your setting, but you've got like the bridge and the birds and the flowers and a pink bottle and the dogs. Like there's so much variety and change of scale. Lots of little like yeah, little Christina says. So amazing, like little snippets of your mind and your day. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true. That's beautiful. Yeah. Great. Shall I shall I go on? Yes, please. If I can. Let I me. love the bird on your head, says the net. Oh yeah. Right. I've just got to work what I'm doing here. Haha. -ha. Okay. Um it. so I think you shall I mean your children's book course is always my favorite. And I'm so glad it's coming up again. Um, yes. I don't know how many times I've I've done it, but <laughs> I've loved each one. Um, and like I showed you, there's it, a lot of work goes behind all the each you know the emotions and the the it's, the movement and everything. Um, but yeah, I enjoy it. And the thing that. The thing that I loved about this one was um, my character became a bit of an Elvis fan. So I had the music on while I nearly on repeat, just kind of going round and round. Just And I, I just, whenever I look at this character now, I just think of, you know, dancing around the studio to the music. Yeah. Fantastic. How do you, how did you get so good at drawing poses of people? which many of us find difficult. Well, can you see over there? I've got a mirror, a big mirror. Yes. And that is invaluable because I will do the pose that I'm wanting to get. And then my poor teenage sons who would, well, they're not teenage, one's 22 and 19. The amount of times I've said, hold up this melon or, you know, reach for the, I don't know, the, the bird in the thing and they just despair but you need to be able to see it being done mm -hmm. um so yeah that was probably some one of them dancing there yeah fantastic and then for a child you have to s sort of squish it down to child's proportions from your yeah teachers, from your yeah oh yeah 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 definitely yeah, um, fabulous Right. Okay. And then, of course, this one that you talked about, but it's all the little details like the Colin the Caterpillar cake and um, yeah. the Colin the Caterpillar cake that here, they have it in England. I don't know if um, they have it in America, <laughs> but it's a very famous um, cake that a lot of people want on their birthday table. Mm -hmm. So he, he featured. <laughs> and then, oh. yeah, and the little dog, the little dog with the wheels, but yeah. they're the bits that I enjoy adding in all the extras that kids might find fun to find or, mm -hmm. yeah. And I love so. the diversity of the kids, the girl in a motorized chair, you know, different skin tones of all different kinds. Um, yeah. That's pretty great. Yeah. Great. And this was, I know you're running it again, the, um, a new version, aren't you, or of the redrawing? Uh, redrawing Black, Black History with Tamisha. Yeah, yeah Tamisha's um, doing that, yes. I mean, what a course. The work that came out of that course was incredible. Everyone I loved it. Um, but this, this was doing my favourite. A new, character, a new uh, woman, a new Black woman, a uh, creative woman from history. Oh. I, don't, I don't know if she's still alive, but anyway, um, yep, oh. yep, and I just Wonder at what she's gonna uh, show. So that's exciting. oh yeah, I'll be in. But yeah, so that that was from that course, which I loved. That's beautiful. And then this is a little <laughs> the little Lilla, <laughs> yep. which I think was um was it a Matt's prep or a yeah, something like that. I think you you shared a photo on oh, Instagram or something, and we had to draw it. But I put this one in 
because I really enjoyed doing it, mm. but it then led me on to the next one. Um, that shall I flip to it? So now, before you, you do, if you can go back one second, I just want to point out to everyone this again the specificity, like the the on the left in the center that purple thing holding the supplies with the oh, yeah. thing on the hanger on the the hanger on the spools thing about bobber and then if you go down to the bottom left you have the the, the spools of ribbons you know it, it's like your 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 detail is so interesting to look at yes her style is gorgeous yes her color palette is beautiful her line quality is stunning her design her characters everything but also you want to keep looking Okay, I'll stop. Oh, Next you know, that's nice. <laughs> nice to hear. Um, yeah, uh, and then this, like I said, I love doing the children's, but I love doing adult stuff as well. And it just, um, when I was doing the little Lilla one, I then wanted to make a big, not Lilla, but a big, um, a kind of the dressmaker page. So it's a personal piece that I really enjoyed doing. So, yeah. I also love your use of black and rich dark tones you're not just all pale you're pale you're dark you use the whole sort of the Ansel Adams uh what was the word for his pho photography style um where he used the whole range from white to deep blacks and you yeah did it. it's stunning cool yeah I think that's my my husband's favorite um photographer he did photography degree so yeah what 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 um your black line what tool do you use for like the words the dressmaker and the other um, black line that i mean i'm probably did that in um in fact here's my here's the artwork that i did for that piece mm. um and so the dressmaker the pen dip pen no, I think, oh, maybe, maybe it was. <laughs> oh, no, it was just um, kind of pencil marks. Pencil, can you see that? A kind of oh, it's little, um, it's got, oh, yeah, it's just pencil there. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so, so I, the other black line, what do you use? I use um I use the ink and a dip pen. Okay. Yeah, I love uh, that's probably my go-to for mark making. Oh wait, tell me the name. I'm a I'm I'm an. It's ink. called it's called Kandahar, K A N D A H A R drawing ink, and it's just an it's just an Indian black ink. Kandahar. I just dropped my fountain pen because it was missing, I think. Did I wreck the nib? Oh no. Oh, that's annoying. No, I don't I don't think I did. It's um the oh good, it works. It's the ultra flex. It's very finicky. Um yeah. okay, good. Uh Kandahar black ink. Okay. I'll yeah, it's just that. a drawing waterproof ink. Okay. Um, but I like that one. And I just use a normal dip pen that's a bit scratchy, but I like it. Well, yeah. do you find, I have to ask you a question about a dip pen. I, my dip pens, I never clean because no. I find the black ink on them holds the ink better than the brand new ones. Even if you wash them with soap and water, it just slides off. Am I doing something? Yeah, wrong? I've never washed it. And, and are, are yours like black and yeah yeah they're, they're great I always um I've got a few nibs but he's my faithful one that one <laughs> we'll have to look yeah. at that close up when we're done okay yeah oh a question okay. do you, is everything traditional media and then you scan it in and and photoshop to move everything around yeah yeah I do everything on um cartridge paper or even printer paper and um yeah put it all together in in photoshop wait a minute you do these watercolors on like 
basic printer paper? Well, on no, I use more of a, a cartridge paper for any watercolor. What's that cartridge I do. paper? Like um, that watercolor paper. It it it's just a heavy duty. Um, so it's it's this. I go like a heavy duty cartridge. Like a it just we don't know what car I don't know what car. Uh, it's um two hundred. Oh, okay. It, it's just like a thick. Um. Yeah, watercolor. I guess okay. a watercolor, yeah. sort of. Yeah. Some kind of thick art paper. Okay. Yeah. Me. Because I was going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get those colors and that beautiful watercolor on freaking paper. No, okay. no. But I do, I do do my um black ink work on cartridge on um printer paper sometimes, wow. so it bleeds a bit and I, I get the smudging. So yeah. I like it for that. Yeah. I agree. Sometimes I like the crappiest paper. Yeah. Like, it's just, yeah. Yeah. You get all the marks and the bleed. Yeah, smudges. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, so I've put this one up. One more question. Yeah. So yeah. Cartridge paper. Is it cold press or hot press? Well, I'm, I don't, Bumpy? I'm not Bumpy sure. It's not, it's smooth. It's okay. smooth. Smooth. Okay. Yeah, very smooth. Okay. I have got um some thicker watercolor paper, but I prefer the smooth, mm. smooth one. This foxglove, I I want to like dye. It's so beautiful. Oh, uh, uh, well, this was from um I had a lovely project um last year, which was to do um three or four murals in a um a retirement kind of complex a brand new they were building and they wanted um these murals to go outside the elevator areas and around the walls so that each floor people knew they were coming out on the right whether they were on the second floor it was all birds mm -hmm. and on the ground floor it was the river and these animals and thing so I really enjoyed we really enjoyed that project and it was with um flipper interiors and yeah great project but it, it I enjoy doing all these but then it also leads me on into other projects and things that I can do with it like I'm obviously going to want to do patterns and um, cards and because that's my first um, first love, I guess. Um, so it's nice to be able to take elements because I've got them in Photoshop and be able to play around with them in different layouts and add other things. And Love it. Yeah. I would love to see you. Do a happy birthday of imagery that's birthday related. Speaking as your agent. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be harder for us to sell a porcupine or hedgehog. On <laughs> oh, yeah. Because we're not British, so we don't get it. The other oh, yeah. Thing, sweet pea. Um, that is nice. That is thinking of you. I'm, I'm not sure I would. I'd leave out the foxes. And just yeah. the florals. Now those beautiful okay. boxes are great for the repeat pattern for fabric. Brilliant. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've written a greeting note, Lila. Greeting cards tend to be generic and broad. So that a birthday Ooh, cake, actually. flowers, but not a character so much generally. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. Good to know. Great. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. And oh, oh, and and this was the um the mural that I did in their entrance oh hall. But um, <laughs> yeah. But I just I just love when I do illustrated maps and things to add in all the little extras. Oh, um. Okay. You know the people and the flowers and the the buildings, but ev everything I like. Um... I love this. Now, here's what I'm what I want from you, and it's this people listening. It's almost like you're sitting in on a yeah. conversation 
I'd have with Faye privately. Yeah, yeah. I want you to get a fabric line and you either have to do a major recognizable city or a number of cities, like, you know, the vintage scarf, like New York, Rome, Paris. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do a bunch of them. Oh, that would be this great. Too specific for it's great for what you did. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I would love to do that. Mm -hmm. Or you could yeah. do um, anything that's less town specific. Yeah yeah i think um i think that would i'd love to do that and it's something that i need in my portfolio so that'd be a good one to go on to next i think yeah, yeah. so th th this one i guess is a london based like a children's one um that i did around all the main buildings around there but it just really shows the variety of doing an older sort of map editorial maybe more and this one that's more um like cute and yeah got got all the characters in there and the recognizable buildings of London mm -hmm. so yeah love yeah love yeah but definitely make a note to do yeah a I've different cities and some are the obvious ones, and some could be not super obscure, but maybe secondary, you know, Oslo or something. Yeah, yeah. I'll get my list going. <laughs> and oh, multicultural, if you can. I know, I'm yeah. going to bad allergies. Well, I'm <laughs> with flowers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, multicultural places, too, like somewhere in, in, in maybe South America and Latin America and Africa and Asia, you know, mixing, yeah. I think would freshen up. So take away yeah. what you said about Paris, New York, Rome. Yeah, so, fashion. yeah, I'm going to do that. That's <laughs> lovely. Um, so the, this piece, I think, was, um, oh, sorry, was um, from um, boot camp last year. I think, and you you got us, uh, it was the mini, which are always so good because they give you a, a great start and then you go off onto your adventure with the main one, but you're, you've got that beginning, haven't you? It's, it's good. So this one was more of a, I guess, more of an editorial type. And then I took it into um, a um, more of a children's, um, book page. I think that was the brief. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, so again, all bringing in the characters that are sort of very relational to one another. So yeah. Yeah, it's good. And then the great toy um toy course I'm showing you all the courses I've done here Lilla over the years um but yeah this one I really struggled with this one at the beginning of, of just doing more of a 3D um working in 3D which I hadn't done before but um the minute I could do the characters more I I, I got into it and started to enjoy it and then I was yeah enjoyed this one beautiful Oh, thank you. Um, and this one was the, um, we were doing the board books in character play, which probably lots of people that are watching have done. And I just took the board book ideas, the little characters that we made and put it into um, using it as for um, more of a children's party range. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just I like doing the pattern and you know dotting them around. So yeah, but this this piece we had a little chat after I had worked on my board book, and I really remember you telling me about how you wanted me to be fully fae, mm -hmm. and not just to 
do a I think the brief because I was reading it is very much a graphic um you know board book but, and that's actually not me but I was trying to fit my work into that and the minute you gave me the confidence and the freedom to say no be fully you I then started to really enjoy it and got into um yeah get adding the messy backgrounds and the yeah nice. yeah so that was a, a great help really yes yeah. I think you did it Faye that's nice oh, thank you um this is a bit a bit different from the arty book course that you ran um recently and I think I changed my topic about three or four times going through the course which I think quite a few people did as they developed Absolutely. the idea mm -hmm. um and it's a great course to kind of really think through a project and what you really liked about it so um this was one of the pages for from it and then I've just taken lots of the images and I thought this might make a nice puzzle idea. So a really full, um, colourful puzzle. So there's lots of details in there. I love this and what I want you to do. These are all the animals are on layers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want them to pop more from the background. That's what puzzle people want. Okay, that's good. So Maybe a darker... Yeah. Or lighter. Well, yeah, yeah. Tricky. Or make less busy. Um, maybe yeah. a bit more solidish water a bit, but not solid, solid. And then the seaweed and the shells along the edge. Yeah. The bottom, I love that. Yeah. Because no, that would be good. think of when you do a puzzle, you need to clearly see the objects for us to license it as a puzzle um there's so much blue texture that it would be very difficult to know is it for the whale or the dolphin or that whale or that fish or the fin you know so it would um, be a nightmare wouldn't it <laughs> it would be a nightmare it's a gorgeous piece but i think a simple change yeah yeah the difference now for a a even if this were for a book interior on wild, you know, underwater wildlife, um, you would still want to be able to delineate the creatures just by changing yeah. the background a little. Yeah, that's a great, great tip. And I that can do said, that. What you have on the bottom with the seaweed and the and the starfish and shells and tropical fish. That I could see being beautiful for scarves, for bolt fabric, for just so many things. Hi, Greg. Wow, this mm. one image could launch a dozen niche projects. Yeah. Oh, thank and you. If you yeah. do that, do this piece or piece like it, and label um, each creature with lettering, clear lettering, and it's a very, a more sort of scientific read. It's yeah, a yeah. fantastic way to get a nonfiction book for any age, really. As long okay. as it's a, a very clear read, maybe it's on white background, you know what I'm saying? And we know, yeah, yeah. okay, this is the blue such and such whale or the sperm whale or whatever it is. And maybe it's by, maybe it's so many pounds, like this is, two tons and, and the angel fish is three ounces. Like that could be nice. Yeah, that's, you, that's you could just list Great, that. I do. Yeah, brilliant. I'll make a note of that too. I'm getting a good review here, Lilla. Oh my God. Well. Like Thank we're you. having our little one-on-one. <laughs> -on -one. Yeah, yeah, I like this. <laughs> I want to speak to the yeah. viewer. She's got the gorgeous art and sometimes it's tweaking the appropriateness for the market. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm learning so much already just having having those tips that you give out so thank you yeah um yeah so this um the boulangerie um 
Yeah, I was in Paris last year. I always love when I go somewhere to then be inspired. I always come back and want to produce something of things that I've seen and little sketches I've done. Um, and I know um, the lettering course is coming up. So uh, in yes. in France and I'm on it. Yay. Oh, my <laughs> I, God, I'm so excited. I, oh, me too. Me too. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, come along, everyone. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're going to be there. You can yeah. really teach the thing. Um, no, no, I. That's one area that I'd really like to work on my lettering. Um, so I, I thought it would be a, a, a great holiday, but also I'm sure I'll learn a lot. So yeah, it's a piece there. Um, I just have to say, Greg is going as well. Yay, Greg! Oh, and oh, that'd be Greg, nice. What was that joke you made? I told my husband yesterday what you said. You said, um, what was that? You, it was a play on words of the French thing. Well, we <laughs> type it in. <clears throat> Please take tons of pics. We will. Faye, will yeah. you? I want to get to uh, Paris like th three or four days early for the time change. Oh, so can we talk privately later? Oh yeah, we've got nothing to lose. We've got nothing to lose. Yes, it's until oh, Thank you, Greg. Oh, that was, you know. Oh yeah. I want you every day to do one <laughs> Gregism. Oh. Okay, it's gonna be so great. Oh um, yeah. I look forward to meeting Greg. <laughs> yeah, I did when I was uh, down south. So if you can tell me where to stay in Paris. Oh, okay. Paris, I'll have yes. to any tips you have? Oh my God, that would be gold. Okay, brilliant. I yeah, been there since I was sixteen. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, you're yeah, that'd be great. Um, so the this was um this was a runner up in a picture hook competition on friendship, and uh, yeah, I just really enjoyed doing this one. You know what I I want to yeah. say about this too that I love so many people do darker skin but do it as one color and i'm like look at brown black caramel colored skin like white people have delineation we've got shadow pink cheeks if we're lucky lips and so forth and what you did with her color the brown girl mm -hmm. is so mm -hmm. gorgeous Oh, That's thank you. Color, I'm. I love to see that. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Just look at people. That's your answer. Yeah. You know, look at different tones of people, and and that's your answer. I love. Mm. I love her sneakers on the. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yes, I'm dying. And mm. um, yeah, and this um, yeah, it it was from um a toddler group at our church they wanted some big banners and um there were low and I, I've realized I've got now two pictures with red hair children in I'm obviously yeah. flying the flag for the redheads but um yeah and these were some of the characters that were part of the banner and um yeah I, I enjoyed that great and then this is the final one um, just the little Lenny character that a lot of people have been doing in the character boot camp. Oh my and, God. Um, oh, yeah, God. and so I'm ending with him who needs to go on an adventure now. And, yeah. It's, this is a not a departure, but a continuation for you. It's very stylized, the, the hair and the the softness of the cheeks and the fur. The way you've interpreted the fur, it's really, really good. Make sure we can read the mouth. We need to delineate yes. the mouth and the nose. The features must be read at a glance. Yeah. Not so much. That's all you need to change. It is freaking gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Maybe I can move the mouth off the dark so it shows up a little bit more off the um give it color yeah or a little yeah. line yeah both either yeah. Right yeah yeah I like the lettering that's fine yeah oh good good yeah, she wrote a great story didn't she 
Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah. 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 Uh, Shall I stop stop the share, Lilla? Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that has been so great. Does do anybody does anybody have any questions? Put them in the Q and A. Um, it's so nice to see so many familiar faces. Uh, so what's your dream? Tell me three dream mm -hmm. projects. One to three dream okay. projects. I think. Well, I'm I uh, obviously um you're going to get the anthropology right. Uh, range and a uh, ceramic yeah. range and all those kinds of things I would love it's my favorite shop to go in so I'd love to see my work in there one day that would yeah. be a dream and what you want to do is florals yeah you want to do um you could do different interesting locations like we talked about yeah but your watercolor is so gorgeous and they really do care about beautiful paint, painting and life. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So that, that would definitely be a, a top one. Um, I would love to do anything on nature books. Um, the adult, you know, an older one or, or a kid's one like that flowers to spot on on um on the flowers to spot with the 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 page that had the um yellow um iris on the flag iris I'm thinking those whales and all that sea creature stuff well so that i see is the adult more the adult one and then the children's book version with the the flowers to spot on the walk um with the little characters that that would be a lovely project to the flowers is the adult one no you i think i think you might have been having a little cough at that point <laughs> when i was showing it on the um oh, on the powerpoint it's the let me see if i got I know it the, the yellow flower one the, i'll show you it i know um, i can't believe i i think i've been talking so much today yeah, it's it's that one. Oh yeah, that one with the little flowers to spot. Mm -hmm. And I I would love to do something um, that children could enjoy, walking along the river or some nature uh, theme. Like your book, yeah. Well, if the... you do those fish or anything like that. But I do like the different kinds of undersea, the sea creatures. Yeah. And as I said, where people, where it's very clear to identify, um, I think that will show our clients that you can do uh, animals and sea creatures and so forth for a nonfiction book for different ages. Yeah. So I think, yeah. Yeah. And then the nonfiction yeah. spotting. The only problem with that is, and you know, I love that book idea, is what if I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico with cacti? Like, no publisher wants a book that's regional, except for yeah. small, small, tiny regional publishers. We don't really deal with that, but yeah, yeah, you need something that's broad. Yeah, See, that's my only thing. Oh, yeah, thing the point. To be honest, it could be any area. I would just love to do, you know, if it if it was the Amazon rainforest or something like that, I would, you know, do my research on that and love oh, right. doing that. So yeah. it's just looking into an area of nature and plants and all of that that I'd really enjoy. Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely have doing. to talk about that. Oh, Lynn has a question, an industry question for fabric and painterly art. Is there a way to prepare the art? We've never had, uh, I, I don't remember or think we've ever had our artists need to prepare the art, if you mean, like, technically in any way, Lynn. Yeah. Um, usually it's I just mean, full color. Yeah. I, I, use, I normally do my files um, where everything's on a layer. So if if a person wanted to change 
um, a colour of something, it would be easy to do. But they are painted as whole objects rather than yeah, divided. You're not, into, yeah, not, you're not doing like like separating CMYK layers. No. Like no. hand tone call yeah. No, just paint your pictures. Yeah. <clears throat> Greg says, I can see your work in education museums, arboretum zoos. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah that'd be nice. Oh, Christine says you could do a regional flower map for different locations. Yeah. Well, I think if you want to do flowers, what's really good is like the medicinal properties of wildflowers. Oh, yeah. You know, something that everyone can kind of enjoy looking at and maybe use as a resource but um, things like that, or it doesn't necessarily have to be something that you um, use as an activity <clears throat> or yeah, a yeah. guidebook. Um, yeah. You know what I think would be cool? And I don't know if clients would go for this, but you know the old rocks and minerals guidebooks, the little. Oh, yes. Like, I don't know, would that be really hard to illustrate? But how cool to do rocks and gems, like gems of the world. Yeah. I don't know. I, I wouldn't spend a lot wow. of time on that. Wow. Maybe it's like a spread, yeah. like a couple but, spreads. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. See where it goes. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Yeah. And see if, if you can dig up some, maybe like gems of the world yeah and what they yeah you know they're they're sort of like crystals i guess yeah i guess you could do crystals yeah and anyway or fossils or something like that maybe. maybe yeah i think for you the more fem 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 it is the better so yeah you know, maybe yeah i do enjoy that yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Not, put a bit yeah. of pink in there, or uh, <laughs> yeah, just the most sort of yeah. yeah. I'd also love to do some. What? I'd also love to do some um packaging, packaging yeah. like of um, you know the the bottles of wine or the soap packaging or you know. Things like that. I'd I'd love that as a project. It's really yeah. hard to get. It's very rare, and it just happens serendipitously. Like just as you're more and more known and out there, and so forth, um, then you might get a call. But it's it's just not that common. Yeah. I don't know. You know, usually they go to designers, and designers design, and. Yeah, it's just rare. So Ooh, sorry okay. That, but, yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Try. <laughs> but you never know. <laughs> in the how long have I? Yeah. So let's see. I've been an agent almost thirty years, and before that, for about fifteen oh, years, yeah. 12, 15 years, I was an illustrator. And um, did I get? I must have gotten some packaging in my day. But, um, and I'm trying to think of my artists. I'll have to think about that, but it's not common. Yeah. Not to be discouraged. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't mean it won't no, happen. No, no. But, but I know, like, no. I, <laughs> oh, I want to do a beautiful package with like flowers. Yeah. And I know. It's because New we're models. always drawn to them. Yeah, I know. Because we, that's what, so. what we pick up off the, yes, yeah, soap pick up a lovely package don't we oh I yeah. know what we've done chocolate packaging chocolate Ooh. packaging yeah oh nice yeah that's nice I have some clients for that so yeah that's yeah something. fun <laughs> that's something yeah yeah all right well, does anybody have any oh wait some more questions so we answered lynn um i thought tech could do that these days that's right and um, Sean asks, do you work at one-to-one -one scale or do you scale down the work after it's scanned in? I don't really understand. Um, I mean, I, I tend to work on A4 
think, uh, you know, size because my scanner is A4. Okay. And then I'll either blow it up or reduce it depending on what I need it for. So um, is, and is so your file size is like A4, eight and a half by eleven kind of thing. Jenny, yeah. Or when, you scan, when you scan it in in your Photoshop doc, that's just normal so, size. Oh, I will. I will do it whatever I need for. Um, if it's a fabric, I might do a really large. If it's a furnishing type fabric, it okay. might be, I don't know, sixty four by sixty four, wow. like a big big one um but yeah. yeah 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 just scan it in at 300 dpi so you have high res and make your file 300 yeah. okay giveaway time boom so here's how Ooh, we do the giveaway okay. hold, up the <laughs> scarf. hold up the scarf look at me wearing a sweater yeah. in Boston in september uh, it's cold today and rain <laughs> so this is this is the pollinators one so beautiful uh, and and this one's the um honeybee love okay beautiful so here's how we do this we are going to say a category you are going to guess as many times as you want and as often and the first one that we see it may not necessarily be the first correct answer but the first one that we see is the winner and you get what you get and you don't get upset. And then we will tell you the winner, how to um, contact us. Okay. I, I love the guesses already. Ahana. That's great. The category is flower, a flower, a flower. Mm -hmm. You can guess as often as you want. Oh, Annette. Annette Krause, Dahlia, Dahlia. Ding. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Annette. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> so, right, um, yeah. info at lilarogers.com. I was trying to think of if it was Matt's or Lilla. Okay, yeah. <laughs> info at lilarogers.com. Say you won the tea towel and we'll pass it on to Faye who will then send it to you and yeah yay. brilliant well done <laughs> well done um and a reminder yeah. to sign up for the um <clears throat> illustrating children's book starts October 9th that's how I discovered Faye and she took it several times and got oh. so good I had to take her it was absolutely just had to and don't forget <laughs> one spot left join us in france for lettering and i made a deck of cards for each person in a pretty silk pouch and it's also ask lilla anything about your career and i will help everybody as much as i can and, and great meals and side trips okay. so that's uptrek.com and just search for yeah. lilla. so i think that's all the sales talk oh creative yeah. bug don't forget get over to creative bug because my writing classes they're writing for artists and just search for lilla and that will come up it just launched um and mm -hmm. i really love that course i have to admit it's going to be very useful and i show books that are appropriate i show like 30 probably 35 different books on um one one with each video one or two on different writing different kinds of books that illustrators can write with just a little bit of text. And the reason is this is great for next year for the course I teach on the two courses I teach on writing, which is my arty book course for adults and my kid book pitch, which is writing kid books for kids. Okay, so there's all my sales pitches, I'm a busy girl. Thank you, Christina. Yeah. <laughs> thank you Faye wow. thank you so much it was I just yeah thank I, you everyone I knew we'd have fun today it just was so great oh thank you oh, thank I really you. enjoyed it thank it you was great wasn't it thanks so much for showing your work thank you everybody for showing <laughs> up we really appreciate it and um don't forget oh one more thing 
Thursday on, it is Make Art That Sells Instagram. Yeah, I, I told you this in the beginning. Don't forget the, um, it's free. I just talk on Thursdays and answer questions. I'm going to put a post today on Instagram and you can add any questions that you have on that post and then I will answer them Thursday. Uh, and questions need to be posted by Wednesday night, Eastern time. Okay. And Marmac, yes, this will be available as a recording later. Yeah, Brenda, I hope you oh. like Thursdays with Lila. Oh, yeah, like Maury. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Faye. We will talk soon. Thank you. Everybody. Yeah, thank you. Soon. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.